If you aren't paying close attention, you may have missed some of the recent changes to Evernote. Hi, I'm Dave Edwards. We're going to walk through some of the most recent updates today. Now, in case you aren't aware, I am an Evernote expert. That means I passed a certification exam to demonstrate that I understand and can coach people like you on this powerful app. I also attend product updates and other sessions with those who make Evernote work. I would, in fact, I was just on such a call last Thursday. Uh, subscribe and you won't miss any of my weekly videos. And if you want to receive my free weekly newsletter, just go to Dave Edwards Media and click on the contact page. Okay, let's start with version 10.96. This one had some changes for Evernote on the desktop and the web. If you want to start a new note in a new window, you can now use the keyboard shortcut Command-O on Mac and Alt-O on Windows. They've also cleaned up the sharing feature. Then version 10.94 uh, gave us audio transcription. Now, I demonstrated that in a previous video. Uh, the thing is, when it first came out, I said I really liked it. I find I'm using it now all the time. If you haven't, I urge you to try it. It's, it's really amazingly accurate how they can transcribe the audio that we input. Um, in fact, I found it to be much more accurate than the transcription feature in Microsoft Word or even in Otter AI. Also part of that update, you can now set Sunday as the first day of the week in your Evernote calendar. And going back a bit more, version 10.92 allowed us to pin one or more notes to the top of a notebook. That was also now added to the mobile version 10.93. So now you've got it on your app, your desktop, and on mobile. Uh, let's talk about mobile for a few minutes. When Evernote started rolling out all their new features some months ago, they said they were concentrating on the desktop app and the web, and then would gradually change their focus to upgrading the mobile app. Well, that is clearly now happening. As they explained to us, they want to make sure that when they have new features to roll out, they roll them out sometimes slowly to the web and app, let people play with them. Uh, sometimes they find bugs and then they can fix them uh, before they invest a whole lot of time in rolling it out to mobile apps. So that's why sometimes you'll see things on the desktop or uh, on the web, and it'll be a little slow in coming to the mobile app. So getting back to what you can do on the mobile app, tasks are now visible in the calendar on the mobile app. What you do is you tap the notebook button on the create page, and that will instantly open a brand new notebook. Oh, and you can customize the way your app looks in mobile. You can choose between notebooks and shortcuts at the bottom navigation bar. Now, I personally like accessing shortcuts there, but you do have the option and you can choose how you want your default screen to look on mobile. One more, uh, Evernote cleaned up the settings menu uh, in their latest mobile release. They pulled out items uh, like my widgets and trash, so they're uh, easier to find, and that's in mobile 10.96. I also had a video recently on using the daily note or journaling feature, and in my excitement to show off this feature, I never showed you how to start using it. Well, here's how you do it. Click on your name in the upper left corner of the screen, then click on settings, then click on daily note. Now, even when I shared that to some people who contacted me, uh, people wrote back and said, well, they couldn't access it. Don't worry, you will get it eventually. Rollouts are sometimes staged, so not everybody gets them on the first day. I mean, that gets back to what I was saying about the the mobile app or the iPad developments, uh, sometimes uh, we just don't get them on the first day. They roll them out slowly, and that gives them the chance to uh, get rid of all the bugs. So, uh, you know, even when I or others uh, talk about new features or you see something posted uh, on Twitter or on social media and you don't see it, my suggestion is always make sure you are running the latest version of Evernote and so you can check to see if you are. If you aren't, just download the new version. I have mine set up so that uh, all of the updates 
come in automatically. And only one time has that messed up and not automatically updated in app. But for the most part, that feature works out just fine. So finally, before I go, uh, I can't get into a whole lot of detail, but I just I think it's important that you know that uh, last week when I was on the Evernote Experts call, uh, the folks at uh, Bending Spoons shared a list of future features that they have compiled based on user feedback. You know, things that you post on social media or send requests directly to them. They compile this long list and then they ask the uh, Evernote experts to uh, select our top three, our top favorites. That was really difficult to do. Uh, there were probably 30 items on the list. Now, now clearly they can't immediately uh, implement all 30, but they're clearly thinking about the next group of features that are going to be added. And uh, they never said what the timeline was going to be, but I think it is interesting that they are beginning to uh, uh, look at the feedback that everybody's gotten. Now that they've really upgraded Evernote and got it working the way uh, people wanted to, now they're looking at adding more features. And certainly they've been adding a lot of features in the last couple of months. So uh, needless to say, the expert group wanted all 30, <laughs> but I think we are going to see some cool stuff in the future.